As we study Acts chapter 10, we learn that there's a significant teaching moment for both the giver, Peter, and the receiver. Both individuals learn invaluable lessons from this encounter. Cornelius is taught the gospel of Jesus Christ, and eventually he receives uh, the ordinance of baptism. On the other hand, Peter, he is taught that the time has come to send the gospel to the Gentiles. Until then, the gospel has only been taught exclusively to the Jews. The Lord uses Cornelius to teach Peter that the time has come that now they need to send the gospel to the Gentiles. Peter receives a vision where he is invited to eat and clean food. Three times he is invited to eat, but he hesitates, saying to himself, I cannot eat and clean food. And the Lord responds and say to him, that that I have declared clean cannot be called unclean. Peter then is told in a vision that there are men at your door that you need to receive. He then follows a man to Cornelius. But I think for safety, he asks some of his brethren to go with him. When Peter arrives in Cornelius' place, he then tells them, Cornelius and his brethren, that the Lord has told him that he should not call them unclean. But before then, he proceeds that this is how we used to do things. But this is the new way of doing things. In the past, I was not supposed to be here. But the Lord has taught me that I cannot do that anymore. I should not call you unclean. Peter then proceeds to teach them the gospel. And then something special happens. They receive the Holy Ghost. And Peter and his brethren witness this. And it becomes a testimony to them that the Lord has now allowed the gospel to be preached among the Gentiles. At the end, Peter invites Cornelius to be baptized. This story demonstrates that learning is a continuous process. Even for a chief apostle like Peter, the Lord continues to teach him as he strives to do his best to serve and to magnify his calling. While Peter is still learning, the Lord still uses him to bless many lives. And it's an interesting interaction uh, between learning and serving. As Peter does his best to serve, the serving itself allows him to learn more about the Lord's will, the Lord's plan, and most importantly, about himself and the things that he needs to repent of. It is evident that the Lord directs his work because Peter, he's doing his best to follow the Lord's will as he magnifies his calling. Peter does not fully understand the Lord's direction or the Lord's vision, but Line upon line, he does his best to learn it and to follow it, like the rest of us. For sometimes we may think the prophet or the chief apostles, they can see everything. But like all of us, they are learning and they are progressing in the path. As we follow them, we follow the Lord. But what is amazing is, as he is learning, as he is doing his best to understand what the Lord wants from him, in the process, he becomes a blessing in other people's lives. I believe the same applies to us as we do our best to serve and magnify our callings. When we continue to learn and seek the Lord's will, we become a blessing to others. But in the same instance, we are blessed to learn more and to understand more of the Lord's will and draw closer to Him. That is why the crucial thing about the living church is revelation of the gift of the Spirit. Because between Cornelius and Peter, both of them, they were praying. And the Lord or the, or the angels or the Spirit revealed to them what to do next. That is so crucial in the living church. And I think we are blessed today to have the same gifts of the Spirit. And the key thing is prayer and scripture study. The things that we do that invites the Spirit. And from that, we receive what to do next. Even when we receive what to do next, it's not like we understand the end or the where everything leads. Because Peter, when he was asked, follow this man, he did not know where he was going. Cornelius, when he was told, go get Peter, he did not know that where was that leading to. But they acted in faith. And line upon line, the Lord helped them understand the process. And it applies in our lives. We do not understand all things. We do not know all things. But as we pray, as we study our scriptures, as we do things that invite the Spirit, line upon line, 
we are blessed and the people we serve are blessed in the process. And that's the beauty of Acts.